Hi everyone, welcome to Gyrotech. In this video, we'll be looking at um, IG, uh, Cambridge IGCC um, Paper 2 ICT presentation, October, November 2020. I'll we'll be looking at the only variant in Paper 2. So let's dive into presentation. Okay, yeah. Task 6 presentation. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Unless otherwise instructed, slide must be formatted to display a title and bulleted list. Create a presentation of five slides using the file n220rec. Obviously, for you to create, um, um, for you to import this uh, presentation, you should have opened, you know, an already um, presentation. Of course, we're using um, the MS PowerPoint. Okay, you have to open it down and then you click on file, click on open, and then you can look for it. I'm going to change it to folders. And um, I think I'm just going to, yeah, it's easier to just get it. Um, just going to go to um, October, November. Yes, some all files already. So this is it right here. I'm going to click on open. And it's going to load. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Enable editing. Just going to move this right here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to save this with this as a presentation. Click on copy. Click on file. Click on save as. Okay. And I'm going to paste this here. Okay. All right, use a master slide to display only the following features. Okay, so your name, center number, card number on the bottom left corner. So they are being specific. So obviously we're going to create a view and go to our slide master. Now in our slide master, this is the first slide master. You can add other slide masters as much as possible. Now um, in this slide master, whatever I do here affects all the slides it is linked to very very important okay so um for example if i do this it affects other slides okay that is linked to it all right so i'm going to uh click on insert header and footer check the footer i'm going to type my name agile and the center number an 017 a for agile m for nd and 17 and then we have 2023 and um okay i'm um, automated slide number top right of every page okay so i'm going to add the slide number right here apply it so i'm just going to modify this home bold black and i'll make this um okay good here i'm just going to make this 20 this is what okay this should be 20 as well okay 20 all right so now this is going to be uh, i'm just in the bottom left corner okay so obviously this is going to be here okay okay so this is going to be um in the bottom left corner and this is going to be in the top right corner okay so this is going to be here all right okay your club logo which is saved as this in the source file position in the top left corner so it's going to be in the top left corner so let's look for it click on insert click on picture this device and let's get this logo okay okay let's look at it it's going to be resized to a width of three centimeters so let's make it three centimeter Okay. Of 
because you ask permission to maintain, it's going to be what? Position in the top left corner. Okay. So the top to left corner it is. All right. Okay, so this is completed. Make sure that slide, the master slide item appears in the same position on every slide. There is no overlap on any slide, okay? So let's make sure. So I'm going to click on view, normal, and we're going to make sure it appears and there's no overlap. Okay, so yeah, there is no underlying overlap. So this is okay. Um, I think I've made an error. I'm just going to change it. Go back to my slide master, go back to the first slide. Now, this is not in the top left corner, so I'll click on home and make this now. This is top left corner, this is also in the right. Okay, so it's important because this has to be in the bottom left corner and also. Um, the slide num the automated slide number on the top right of every page. Okay, so this is um, changes to normal view. Okay, let me see. Click on home. Now, obviously, if I do it here, it should work. Let me see. Okay, so let me do this here. Okay, so it's affected right now. Okay, obviously, we just needed to do that. So right here is applied. So if we check here, okay, so it's applied. So obviously, you don't need to do all that. So it's applied. Um, so normal view. So it's important to check, yes, that they're in the top bottom left corner. It's so important to check. And this is in the top right corner. And this is in the top top left corner as well. Okay, which, which is what they want in the top left corner. Okay, so yes, appears on every slide in the same position on every slide, and of course, there's no overlap. Okay, insert a new slide as slide one. So let me insert a new slide. Obviously, we're going to do that. So I'll click on new slide. Okay, the slide is going to be a title slide. Okay. The, the title and subtitle are centered in the middle of the slide. Yes. Enter the text. Okay, so I'm going to um, slide one. Add the title on slide one. So this is completed. And of course, enter the text presented by. Okay.
followed by your name. as a subtitle on slide one. On the slide with the title, locate, okay, on the slide with the title, you know, I'm just going to, okay, just bold it. So on the slide with the title the course, locate three items. Okay. Mm -hmm. One arrow, two arrow, three arrow. Yeah. Format these three items to look like this. Potentially dangerous situation marked by marked by down pointing arrow. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. Um, so obviously they want it to be like this. Um, so um, obviously I'm going to create a tab for it. That's the second level. So this is what we call the second level and I'm going to explain this to you because um, we have this and we're going to change this bullet to um, a dash so we don't have it here so we're going to um, click on customize I think this is Okay, let's see if it's you know I'm just going to copy this. That's gonna save me a whole lot of stress. Okay. Okay, so I think uh, it's right here because obviously I don't know if it's slanted, but I want to see if it's Yeah, I think he's I think he's slanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's slanted. I think it's fine. Uh it's fine. So obviously what I want to see here is in the slide master, we have what we we'll call the second level and the third level. So obviously this is at the third level, okay? So we're going to do that. So um so this is completed. Okay. Add the following text as a presenter note to the slide with the title to the course. Okay, so I'm going to add a note here. I'm going to copy this. 
note here i'm going to add this here okay completed now we're going to print only this slide as a presenter or speaker note to our printing only slide three i'm going to save printing only slide three Okay, as a speaker note, because obviously they want to see the changes. Let me see. Okay. Mm, yeah. So obviously they want to see this. Um. So this will be what? Print out seven. Okay. I'm just going to pause and then look for it. Okay, so this is print out seven. Save the presentation, print the presentation as handout with two slides to the page, each filling half the page. Okay, with two slides to the page. Um, okay, so this will be print out eight. Just click on file, save, click on file, print. Okay. Yes. Okay, and this is, you can actually change it here, the orientation, either here or here, it's fine. But, so I said, with the handout, we two like each filling half of the page. Yes. Okay. And this will be print out eight. So I'm going to print. This is going to be, um, print. Out it. Okay. So um so I've been able to print the handout with two slides to the page. So we can just check how far the work has been. Um we can just quickly check. Um we can open the printout here. So it's actually center of the work. This is center, it's fine. It can be here, it can be here, it's still fine. Um, your name is here, so it's fine. And the next one is this. And it's also fine. So um, I think we're done here. So please don't just watch this video, practice along with it. And please give a like to this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more um, IGCSE ICT practical videos. Thank you.